Hey everyone, today we are going to make Irish Nodney. This tutorial might help you along the way or maybe not. But we can find some fun while making it. So let's create together. Let's begin creating a line. Just increase the length. Then we will follow that up by adding a circle. Replace close to open. And increase the division up to 400. Take normals and connect the circle. Set the normal direction, we'll need to use the Wrangler node. The expression will be at the rate normals equal to minus at the rate position. This will be flip the direction of the normals. Next, we will use copy to point node. This node allows us to take geometry and duplicate its position defined by another geometry. Next, add a transformer node and set the x position to minus 90. Add a Wrangler node. Before using the Wrangler node, add a resample node after the line node. Make sure to enable the curve view attributes and set the maximum segment to 120. This will create a more points along the lines for smooth simulation. Now let's return to Wrangler node. Rename the Wrangler nodes. Use this function called vertex frame index to filter out the value 0 and store this data by creating a group called roots. For testing purpose, use the delete node to remove the newly created group called roots. Ensure that the selection type is set to points. Change the operation to non-selected. Here we can observe a circular arrangement of points which represent our holding points for the simulation. Duplicate the Wrangler and rename the age group. Go to previous resample node. Here we can see that the segmented counts is set to 120. This means that there will be 120 index number along the edges of the geometry. Change group name to age. Replace the value from 0 to 120. In the resample node ensure that the maximum length is set to off. Now go and delete node and just change the group to age. Now we can see that we have both the root selection and age selection also. And rename this proper way. We want to apply some offset to position to achieve more natural look. To applying the offset, create a Wrangler and rename it to offset or noise offset. Create a float variable called noise value, which represents noise at given position. Next, update the position and multiplying it by noise value. This will add more randomness in our geometry. I want to ensure that the root point does not change, so I need to create a group that is the inverse of the root group. So we are using if statements. The function will be in points groups. Before that add exclamation marks to avoid the roots groups. First we will define the geometry handle followed by our groups and then the point number. Then add the curly brackets. The function to set a point group should have the following parameter first the geohandle, second the new group name and last the point number and set activation value will be 1. Duplicate the deletes and select our groups. Here we can see that except from group every point is selected and add our new group or noise offset. After that add a smooth node to smooth the curve lines. Next, use attribute warp to apply animation noise to our geometry. Go inside and we need multiply add bind and anti-aliases node. Connect the position to anti-aliases noise node position input. And then bind the curve view attributes. After that connect anti-aliases noise value to multiply first input. Second input will be our curve view attributes. Then connect the geometry position to the first input of the add node. Second will be multiply value and then connect the position to output value. One thing is left, just go inside, right click on anti-aliases noise node and select create input parameters. Exist the frequency and amplitude value. I will say this not going for large number, just slightly exist the value. For the offset, use the expression dollar $t divided by 4 and then copy and paste the relative reference to the y-axis and z-axis. Then go inside and change the noise type from 1D to 3D.
தென் ஐடோ வெல்லம் சோலோர் அண்ட் வெல்லம் ஹேர் நோடு இன் வெல்லம் கொன்ஃபிகேஷன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சேஞ்ச் தி பேண்ட் ஸ்டிஃப்னஸ் டு செட் டு திஸ் வெல்யூ தென் பின் குரூப் அனிமேஷன் வில் பி ரூட் அண்ட் ஏஜ் In solver, just remove the force. For quality scene, just increase the sub-step up to 4 and set the constant iteration to 100. Go inside the solver and add a pop wind node. Add some little wind on y-axis. Give some amplitude. Decrease the swirl size. This is our scene. After that we need a mask. Connect the attribute create to noise offset. Attribute name will be temperature and value will be 10. After that take a pyro source spread. In attribute create make sure the groups is root are selected. Change attribute create input animated noise. Enable the visualizer temperature. reduce the cooling rate tweak some diffuse parameters needed for your simulation for my sim i increase radius and neighbor counts after that just we need color nodes just turn off the visualizer color type will be constant to ramp from attributes and attribute will be our temperature exist the color ramp so that the result resemble an arrow shape with a white alpha animation Then add attribute blur for smooth animation. Here attribute type will be CD. Set the blur iteration. Here we are going to use interpolation to mix the animation based on the mask what we have created. Just take a render. Connect first our mask and second our scene. Rename the blur for self understanding. Create a vector call pause for the position of the first geometry. Then create a vector call update. and use the point function to import the position of the second geometry for velocity create a vector call v then create another vector call update v and use the point function but this time attribute will be velocity create a float variable call value which is cd.x now update the p position using the lr function with the first position as the first argument second position as the second argument and bias from the color as the third argument This is same approach can be applied to velocity but with the v variables now create at the rate y position this is our at the rate p dot y axis here we get wave layer animation after that add a poly wire decrease the width rate slightly to look like a thread now go to initial line node and increase the lens scale for large iris to control the scale of the width using wrangler go back to polywire nodes and in the wire radius add this channel called dollar width in the width wrangler create a float attribute called width after that create a parameter name width and hit the compiler here we can control the width radius now add a ramp based on the properties of curve view attributes first will be our name our ramp and the selection will be corresponding to our attributes after this done hit the compiler here exists the ram to control the width radius as needed for look like iris then add a color node color type will be ram from attributes attribute will be our y position add a color node with gradient that transition from light to dark this create a shade of depth for iris To create a outer layer, take a geometry sphere or torus. Scale the geometry according to answer it fully cover the iris. Then combine this. After that, take a wrangler and set the alpha attributes point one. The render will look like this. If you don't want the thread like effect, you can use the VDB from polygons. and then convert it into back into polygons this method will provide a stretch surface layer for the iris and decrease the topology by using poly reduce then use attribute transfer node to transfer the color from the original geometry 
then increase the length scale of the line and circle counts this will add more details and you will get this type of surface this is pretty much it thanks for watching i hope to see you again